On to C2. C2 is a modified block, which means in the kit package is a little bit of a different picture that the pieces were made to. The difference basically, if you see here in the corner, they added this, this line, this break right here, so it's a lot easier to do for English paper piecing. So from an assembly standpoint, it's kind of a little, might be a little intimidating, but if you look at it here, if you take the diamond and treat it as an angled nine patch. So I'm gonna make three rows and then connect them. Then I'm gonna add these edges here and then we'll work on the corner units. I'm not sure if I'm gonna assemble all three and then put it on or just put them on individually, but we'll cover that when we get to it. So I've got my pieces all ready to go and I'm going to, I got to deal with my basting on my diamonds. If I do them all the same, then the tags, because if I do these this way, yeah, I think I'm gonna do them all the same because if I do that, the tags will say this one goes this way, this one will go this way, which means that one will also, so it'll nest nicely. Sometimes doing them the same is not conducive, but in this case, I think that's what I really need to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and baste and, and uh, assemble these into three rows in the center section first. One thing I forgot to mention, if you look at these, there's nine of these with C2, and then there's two on the edges that say C2 outer. In this bag, when I was doing my bag sort, these two on the outside are very slightly a different size. So I wanted to make sure that they didn't end up accidentally in here. Number one, because if one of these is different, it's gonna create a little bit of a problem when you're piecing it. Number two, this if this is not the right angle and the right size here, it's gonna create a problem with this section too. So I, I pointed that out in the bag sort for the C1 bag, um, the C1 through whatever, seven or six it is. Um, but I wanted to call that attention so you know why it says outer right here. So I'll go ahead and get basting. So I've assembled these three rows. These are all stitched together. The next thing to do would be to put these together into this diamond shape. So the diamond has been assembled. The next thing to do is to baste and attach these funky shapes on each side of the diamonds. So I basted all four pieces. These come to, together at a point here. So I don't think I'm gonna have too many tags clashing, but here I had to redo this section so that they nest rather than clash. And these I also made so that they nest rather than clash. And now I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna attach these on here. I'm gonna do opposite sides first and then do the other two. So I've got two of the four sides attached to the diamond, and now we will attach the other two. So I've got all four of these funky sides attached, and this is what I've got now. So, let's see, this is the top. Next section is to baste and attach these diamonds that say outer, because these are these other pieces here. So I've attached my first outer diamond. I wanted to point out though, that this looks like it's not lined up right. Right here at the point is a little hovering out. But when I squish this in, and when it flattens up, it actually does line up with where the paper is. The, the fold of the fabric is not where the paper point is. You can feel exactly where that paper point is. And in this case, my paper point is here before the fold. So once I get this other piece on here, it'll close that up. But I just wanted to point that out in case that happens to you because my original reaction was like, oh crap, how'd that happen? So once this gets, but, but this fabric point, the paper point is like right here. So it'll line up real nice once it's done. So I got both of these outer diamonds connected. This point that one might have to be fixed because it's not lined up right, but it, maybe it'll fall in line once I get the other pieces on. So 
The next thing to do is to attach these corner pieces. These I have basted already. I tried to make sure that the, the flags, the tags don't um, conflict. I'm going to go ahead and attach these there. So I've got both of these corner sections attached and now my C2 block is completed.